Hello my tea friends and family, Megan Bristow here. This is Tasting Teas and in this video we are in Dune, Scotland to have some cream tea at the Circa Cafe and that is right next door to the Scottish Antiques and Arts Centre. It's a super massive antique centre and we're going to go inside and have a look at all their little tea wares and some other antiques and I'm looking for a fine bone china teapot or a porcelain teapot so we'll see if I find one. Come and join me. I mentioned in the introduction we are at a arts and antique center now one of the things that I've noticed since living in the UK and one of the things that I love they're the same thing <laughs> is um, when you're out in the countryside quite often you will come across these garden centers they are places that you can go and buy flowers and potted plants things like that there's always usually a store attached to it that sells like homemade Scottish jams and homemade shortbread and chutneys and things like that and there's always a little cafe or restaurant where you can stop and have coffee, cake, tea, scones, lunch, brunch. And more often than not, there's always a, an antique center attached to these little places as well. And this is a really well-known one, um, as I mentioned, in Dune, which is just north of Stirling, kind of in the heartland of Scotland. And I love coming here because the antique center here is especially big, as you'll see in a moment when we go inside. But if you find yourself in the UK, whether it's Wales, England, Scotland, do drive around the countryside and wherever you see a garden center or afternoon tea, um, antiques, stop by the roadside and go inside because you can usually find some wonderful gems in there. with butter, not called a cream, butter, and strawberry jam, and I've got Earl Grey tea. My teacup is a Shannon Bridge, Ireland. The name and design. I don't know if it's porcelain or fine bone china, doesn't say. But the tea saucer, teacup saucer is hand-painted Rosalind China, made in England. Really beautiful. And of course, as we always cream tea, bite and sip. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any day that I get to eat a scone and drink a pot of tea.
really love antique centres like this because they're so big and you can spend all day in here and still not see everything. Every book, every teacup and saucer, every vase, everything has history to it. You can feel that there's like so many people who owned it and uh, every object kind of has a biography and a life story. And you can be here and you can purchase it and continue that life story. Well, that was a wee tea and scone at the Circa Cafe, which is attached to the Scottish Antiques and Arts Centre in Dune. Didn't find a teapot today, that's okay. The beauty of little antique places like this is that they're constantly getting new stuff in, so you just gotta make regular visits and really hunt through things to find some hidden gems. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please show some, please show some love by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. I will link to my blog post that will have information about the cafe and the Antiques and Arts Centre and I'll have some photos there for you as well. In the meantime, wherever you are, I hope you enjoy a good cup of tea and I'll see ya! Bye! This is that you kind of kind of got, got to kind of visit them regularly because they're constantly in getting new antiques.